Hello, my name is Booker Edwards, and if you've been around Mac Pro Video for a while, you may know me as the Atlanta Logic Trainer. As the Atlanta Logic Trainer, I am super excited to bring to you my new course introducing Logic Pro for the iPad. I think us users of Logic Pro have probably been waiting for this day since the release of the first iPad, but definitely since the release of the iPad Pro. I think you will find Logic Pro on the iPad to be innovative, intuitive, professional, and most of all, fun to use. In this course, I will give you a quick tour of Logic Pro for the iPad. I will give you an overview of the interface that was designed especially for use on the iPad. I will show you how to create new projects in Logic Pro on the iPad, as well as how you can download additional content to help with your music creations. I will demonstrate the powerful new browser, which allows you to search for patches, loops, and other content. We will explore Beat Breaker, a brand new audio effect that allows you to manipulate your audio in endless creative ways. So let's get right to it. What I want to do in this tutorial is quickly show you how you can interact with your music with your finger on the iPad. So what I have here is a project open where I have my live loop session you can see here on the left hand side of the screen, the browser that I just mentioned, I have a fader here and I'm gonna hide those by just touching here at the bottom of the screen to get rid of those to just show you my live loops window. I have some loops in here that I'm going to actually record my performance over into my tracks area. If I wanna see my tracks area, I can quickly touch here, bring up my tracks area and then I can go back here to get back to my live loops. And if you have a magic keyboard like I have here, there are shortcuts. So the letter T will toggle you between your live loops area and your tracks area. So what I wanna do is set this up to record. So I'm gonna to touch here to activate record into the tracks area. I'm gonna make sure that my project is at bar one. And right now I am in the edit version of the live loops area, which allows me to zoom in quickly, right? I can scroll left and right, up and down. I can touch onto a live loop to select it. I can double tap to bring up a menu, which will allow me to edit. And then here I can toggle mute and do things like that. I'm gonna unmute that. And if I want to play them, I need to go into trigger mode. So now they are ready to actually be triggered. I'm gonna put my session into record and start my loops. Let's get ready to get out of this and stop it. Stop all clips and stop my recording. I'm gonna toggle over to my tracks area and here you can see 
everything has been recorded. It's all muted now because my focus is in the live area. So I'm just going to hit this arrow here to bring my focus here. If I start playback. So as you can see, it's very easy to interact with your music and manipulate your audio and your regions with your fingers with Logic Pro on the iPad. Of course, we'll go more in depth into all the things you just saw me demonstrate as we go throughout the course. Thank you.